you, Roger, Bill. Uh, the name's Peter. P-E-T-E-R, Peter, and uh, the location is uh, Melbourne. Um, down the bottom end in the southeast of Australia. So uh, that's where we are. In the state of Victoria, and I'm about um, oh, 50 miles northwest of Melbourne on a freeway heading north, away from the city. So uh, that's who and where we are. Call sign BK3, Django, Quebec. Over. I'm Australia, yeah, I, uh, I worked uh, a couple uh, of stations there. I'm in Ohio, in the USA. Uh, anyway, I worked at VK6AU, and I worked at VK4WM, and VK3DVD. Uh, I think he was down in Yakandanda, uh, near uh, uh, Victoria. And I think I've seen the other guys were Herbie Day and, and uh, where's the other fellow here? I, I think he was over on the western end of uh, Australia, over. The name on this end is Bill, Bravo India Lima Lima. Yeah, no problem there, Bill. Well, if you're in the west, they're a long way away from here. <laughs> About 2,000 or more kilometers away. And if they're in the far north, they're about 3,000 kilometres away. So the two guys, the Delta Victor, Delta and the other station there, AU, I don't know. I've been on D-Star since 2006 and don't know them at all. But I def definitely know Yak and Dana. Uh, that's about 300 kilometres to the northeast of here. Or maybe not even that far, probably 200. So... Um, yeah, it's a nice place, Yakandanda. It's um, a nice um, hilly, tree country location uh, that most people would like, or most radio hands probably would like to retire to. There would be a lot of noise there, and um, yeah, all good. Yeah, I'm heading to a place called Bendigo, Bendigo. So uh, I've got an early morning meeting there, and it's uh, about 7.30 in the morning, so hence I'm uh, travelling really early, and... I only got home from work at about 9 o'clock last night, so I've been very busy. So, uh, anyway, uh, I'll try and take some time off today. It's going to be a beautiful day here in Melbourne. Um, there's no clouds where I am at all, and um, very cold. Uh, very, very cold, so it's going to be a great day. And uh, just that little bit of morning fog around. Um, you may be getting my DPRS packets, I don't know, but I'm travelling at about um, 60 to 70 miles per hour on this freeway. Um, now, is it November 8th, United Papar? I was a bit slow on the screen. Um, I think it was uh, November 8th, UP. Uh, is that right? VK3TQ, mobile. <laughs> My call is November 8, Uniform for Power Zulu, N-A-U-P-Z. And, uh, yeah, it's a 6630, you guys are about probably uh, a good 12 hours or so ahead of us. It's just about uh, 4.30 in the afternoon here. It's Tuesday, and I think you guys must be uh, uh, in uh, Wednesday. Uh, so, uh, uh yeah, fine business. Oh, yeah, I see where Melbourne is. Uh, yeah, down in the corner there, uh, you're a little bit above uh, Tasmania. I guess you're near uh, Victoria and look at Can Canabera. Over. Uh, thank you, sir. Any EPZ? And I remember, right, EPZ, VK3TQ. Yeah, they actually they look very close together on a map. Um, very close together, but um, I can assure you they're not. <laughs> um, they're um, Canberra. It's about a six-hour drive. Six-hour drive to Canberra from Melbourne, maybe more, seven. And uh, if you look up a little bit further, Sydney's about a good day's drive, a very good day's drive. And it takes, if you get over to Perth on the other side, it takes, uh, well, you know, if you're really going to hammer it, three days to drive to 